Welcome to the world of evolution and selective breeding. Today, we're exploring two fascinating concepts that shape the diversity of life on our planet, natural selection and artificial selection. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey joined with my dad, Travis Spivey. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will explore the differences between natural selection and artificial selection. So, so let's, let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I will be able to describe and explain the differences between artificial selection, also known as selective breeding, and natural selection. Let's start with natural selection. It's a process where organisms better adapted to their environment tend to survive and produce more offspring. This concept was famously introduced by Charles Darwin in the 19th century. Darwin observed that in nature, individuals with traits that give them an advantage in their environment are more likely to survive and reproduce. These advantageous traits become more common in the population over generations. For example, take the peppered moth. Before the Industrial Revolution, light colored moths were common. However, as population darkened the tree bark, darker moths had better camouflage and thus had a higher survival rate. Over time, the population shifted towards darker colored moths. Natural selection is a gradual process driven by environmental pressures like predation, competition, and climate changes. It acts on variations within a population, leading to evolutionary changes over long periods. Now let's dive into artificial selection. Unlike natural selection, artificial selection is driven by human choices. It's the process by which humans breed plants and animals for specific traits. Through selective breeding, we've created an incredible variety of crops, livestock, and pets. From the wide range of dog breeds to high yielding crops, artificial selection has shaped many aspects of our lives. In artificial selection, humans pick individuals with desired characteristics to reproduce. For instance, a farmer might choose the largest and most disease-resistant plants to grow the next generation, while a dog breeder might select for specific physical traits or behaviors. This selective process can lead to significant changes in traits over a relatively short period of time compared to natural selection. However, it often focuses on traits beneficial to humans rather than survival in a natural environment. Let's look at some key points of natural selection and artificial selection. Remember, natural selection is the process by which organisms better adapted to their environment to survive and produce more offspring. This mechanism was famously outlined by Charles Darwin. With natural selection, the key points are number one, mechanism. Nature selects for traits that enhance an organism's fitness in its natural environment. This means those with advantageous traits are more likely to survive and reproduce. Number two, Variation. There is natural variation within populations. Some of these variations give individuals a better chance of survival. Number three, adaptation. Over time, traits that improve survival and reproduction become more common in the population leading to adaptation to the environment. For example, the long neck of giraffes, the color changes in pepper moths, and antibiotic resistance in bacteria. Now on to key points of artificial selection. Remember, artificial selection is the process by which humans intentionally select for or against specific traits in organisms. This is often done to breed plants and animals with desirable characteristics. Mechanism. Humans choose which individuals to breed based on desirable traits, rather than natural selecting for survival and reproduction. Purpose. The goal is often to enhance or create particular traits such as higher crop yields, specific physical features, 
or behavioral traits. Variation. Breeders use the natural variation within a population, but apply human judgment to direct the selection process. Some examples include breeding of domestic dogs for various breeds with specific traits. Another example is crop cultivation for high yields or pest resistance, and livestock breeding for traits like milk production or muscle mass. To summarize, natural selection is driven by environmental pressures and results in adaptations that enhance survival and reproduction. Artificial selection, on the other hand, is guided by human preferences and can rapidly alter traits in plants and animals. Both processes have shaped the world around us in profound ways. Natural selection continues to drive the evolution of species in the wild, while artificial selection has helped us cultivate a variety of useful plants and animals. Whether it's the natural forces of evolution or human ingenuity, the diversity of life on Earth is a testament to the power of selection. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the mechanisms that shape our world. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knobs to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining the differences between artificial selection, also known as selective breeding, and natural selection by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record the results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan the QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and materials. Peace, and have a positive, productive day.